Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and happy Mother's Day! I am so excited because today I'm going to be doing the Mama Bear tag and I am going to be highlighting my mama. I saw Amanda do this tag but it is an original tag by Tales and Treats with Tay. So I will leave all of the questions and the prompts down below so that you guys can try it out, do it. It's for mamas, whether it's about your children or for kids to do about their moms. And as I personally don't have any kids, I thought it would be the most perfect time to highlight the greatest woman that I know, my mommy. So all of the questions I will be answering with my mom in mind and you guys will get to know her just a little bit better through my eyeballs. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. So without further ado, let's get on with the first question. Number one is a book cover that is mostly their favorite color. And for that, my mom's favorite color is purple, but especially eggplant purple. Um, so I went with the closest one I could find on my bookshelf and that is this cover here. This is With You Here by Sarah Mons and this is book four in her Carrington family series, I think it's called. I really enjoyed this book. It is a split time uh, series, so it was a lot of fun. But got to show off that dark purple for my mama. Book two is a book published the year they were born, and I personally don't own any books this old. I'm sorry, mom, I don't. Uh, she was born in 1963, and looking, doing a little googs search it looks like where the wild things are was published in 1963 uh so ta-da book three <laughs> prompt three is a book set in their favorite season or the season they were born in and for that i went with her favorite season which is at least it was winter i don't think that has changed she doesn't like the heat but in more recent years, as she's getting older, she doesn't really like the cold. But I know she loves Christmas. It is her favorite time of year. So, of course, I had to pick a Christmas book. And for this, I went with Mr. Dickens and his Carol. I have not read this yet, but um, it was Christmassy. And that's totally up my mama's alley. Prom 4 is a book title starting with the first letter of their name. And I chose Not Thy Will by Francina H. Arnold. And my mama's name is Nicole. Prompt 5 is a book character that reminds you of them. And honestly, I didn't pick just one physical book. My mom has so many traits that I've really never pinpointed in a book where I'm like, oh, that is totally my mom. Or if it was, it was like an action that somebody did. My mom is this multifaceted person. She is fun and spunky and the sunshiniest person you could ever meet. So if there's a sunshine character, it's probably similar to my mom. She's crazy. She's super fun, um, but she's such a great listener. She's a great leader and people come to her with so much and she just loves so unconditionally. Um, and I've just never really been able to find a character that encompasses all the greatness that my mama is. Uh, so honestly, I struggled with this one because I couldn't pinpoint just one trait that I've seen. Um, and I haven't ever come across, my mom's unique. I haven't ever come across a book that has, it feels like her, honestly, because she is just, she's kind of indescribable. You can't really replicate her, and I love her so much. She's nuts. If you've ever met her in person, if you ever get the honor of meeting her in person, um, know that it is a true honor because she is, she's, She's a fun one. She's got a great story to tell, and I am just very thankful that she's my mama. Prompt six is a book with something in it that they love or love to do. And for that, I chose When You Are Near by Tracy Peterson. This is book one in the Brookstone's Bride series. Um, fun fact about my mom, she used to compete in barrel racing in Gymkhana and bull, uh, poles. <laughs> She was a rodeo girl growing up and she's always been very into horses and she instilled that in me and my sister. So we both got into riding when we were young. Um, but yeah, so I had to pick had to pick a book that encompassed some of her her horse loving self. Prom 7 is a book you have enjoyed or think you would enjoy together. Um, and I have two different answers for this. So one, I chose Nancy Drew. Um, and I chose this because she actually, she tells the story all the time 
that when she was pregnant with me she was at the library all the time and she read through all of Nancy Drew and all of the Hardy Boys and I have most I don't have all of them but I have most of the Nancy Drew in this edition um, and she made sure that we my I have the Nancy Drew set and my brother has the Hardy Boys because it was just so instrumental when she was pregnant with me and then she read the books to my brother since my brother is older than me so I personally I mean I wasn't there and I don't remember it but I do know that I was with her when she read the Nancy Drew books and then I had to share this one because I know it's one that we will most likely enjoy together when the time comes and that is prayer and planning for the big day the essential wedding guide for a bride and her mother and I just had to pull this out we are gonna just have a great time planning my wedding whenever that day is next is a book you'd recommend or have recommended to them and for that chose the extraordinary deaths of mrs kip by sarah brunsfold i read this last year really really enjoyed it and i actually one of the things i did is i annotated this as i read and just reading this um i felt like i had a feeling my mom would just love it and I wanted her to read it and annotate the parts that she loved so that I could have this copy with both of our annotations. She has been terrible and hasn't done it yet but I am hounding her constantly so I did recommend this one to her as well. Next is the book they recommend or choose for you to read next. Um, I probably won't read it next but if you guys watched my video you saw that my parent my family picked my 24 and 24 and my mom <laughs> My mom is a hoot, um, but I thought I would show Cold Shot by Danny Petrie. If you saw my mom, she's a major cover snob, and she's never going to turn down a book with an attractive man on the cover. So, <laughs> this is the book, that, one of the books she chose for me to read. The next prompt is a book showing strong motherhood, and for that, I went with Betrothal or Breakaway by Lena, Leah Bruner. I just read this book recently, um, and... I wanted to showcase there are so many books with so many great mothers um, but I wanted to showcase a newer mom because her baby was uh, just a few months old um, but to me it was just strong this Amber was such a strong mother because in the process of having a baby she found an issue with her heart and like she could have just freaked out whatever but like she stayed strong and she had the surgery so that she could live a good life and live a solid life for her baby and live and be there to watch her grow up and not only that like she got pregnant from with her ex fiance like he, he didn't stick around she could have easily given the baby up like she could have for adoption she could have done so many different things but she decided to keep the baby and raise the baby even without a strong support system behind her and to me that was just like that's some of the, the biggest sacrifices I think a woman can make especially a single woman with no support system she doesn't know what she's gonna do and yes it all turns out in the end and it's such a great romance um but I just think that it was truly such strong motherhood shown on the page and she was such a good mom she's such a good character love love loved it and the last prompt is tag some people. I don't know who's done this tag, so if you haven't, consider yourself tagged. I'd love to know more about your babies if you got some, or some more about your mama if you don't have any kiddos. And I just hope you guys have a wonderful Mother's Day. I hope if you were a mom, you were spoiled with all of your favorite things. And if you have your mama and you get to see her, I hope you were able to spoil her with all of her favorite things. We are truly blessed with our moms and I'm very thankful that I'm close to mine and I have a great relationship with mine. She is my book traveling buddy and I am just so incredibly blessed and love her very, very much. And yeah, thank you so much Taylor for putting this tag together. It was a lot of fun. It was super cute. Great, great prompts to showcase babies or your mama. I love it all. Love, love, love. Again, Hope you had a great Mother's Day. Don't forget, you can check out my blog at ForTheLoveOfChristianFiction.blogspot.com. You can also check out my Instagram at ForTheLoveOfChristianFiction. All my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!